I think it comes to a question of the complexity of brain function. We all very simply think that we have a sensory process that comes in, that it goes through a filter, and we then produce a response. It's not quite as simple as that. So the current theory, and it may yet be proven to be partially correct and partially wrong, but the current theory is that you have sensory information that comes in through the eyes and goes to the thalamus. The thalamus then projects via an intermediate nucleus to the visual cortex. But that area of thalamus that receives the visual signal also receives feedback from other areas of the cortex. And this is where the filtering comes in, that there is feed forward and feedback inhibition and also enhancement. So there is an imbalance that uh, produces this. And in part, this might be an explanation of the feeling of depersonalization. Because in one respect, you've got information from the visual system that tells you who and what and where you are. And on the other hand, you've got information in the brain saying, this is what I expect you to be, it's where I expect what I expect you to see, and where I expect you uh, think you are. And there's mismatch between the two. So uh, depersonalization is a mismatch of expectations with reality. If you expand this to the whole of the visual system, you can see that there is abnormal processing of feed forward and feedback pathways. And the fact that we sometimes see faster processing or faster responses is an indication that the filtering is not working properly.